Oh, you can barely see the ears. Oh well. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a first impression on a new palette that just came in the mail. I mentioned this palette in one of my previous weekly wishlists or washouts. I'll go ahead and I'll link it up here in the eye. But this is from BH Cosmetics. It is the Glam Reflection Smoke Palette. As you can see, the entire front is kind of like a mirror. It's got this nice design on it. It's got a huge mirror. And this is what the inside looks like. I am really excited about this. I have dipped my fingers in to swatch this, but I haven't actually tried it on my eyes yet. So I don't know what exactly I'm going to do. I'm really feeling this like shimmer right here. It's beautiful and like this dark, like warm terracotta kind of color. But I just want to play around, try it on camera for the first time. So let's go ahead and jump in. Alright, so I've zoomed you in a little bit just so that we can get a better look at what's going on in my eyes. I've already done my brows and I've primed and I've set my eyes. I primed with the primed with the paint pot in Painterly and then I set it with the lightest shade from my Pen That palette. For a transition, I'm going to go with this lightest shade right up here in the corner and just throw that in all over my transition area with a big fluffy brush. Now, this is the same brush that I just went in to set my eyes with that nude kind of powder. Now, since I am doing my eyes first, I'm not going to go ahead and put tape down. If it gets too messy, I'll probably just take a makeup wipe and clean it up before I go in with the rest of my face. So it does kick up a little bit of powder. You can see whenever I do dip in, tap off a little bit of the excess. Just set a nice base. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. I'm going to go in with this warm, transition-y kind of shade just to build up the crease. And then I'm going to go in with this darker one right in the center to build up the outer V and deepen. So let's see. For that next color, I'm going to take my... This is the this is the BMX 430 Crease Brush from Moda Pro. I did get this in a BoxyCharm quite a few months back. Oh, that one also kicked up a little bit of powder. They are really pigmented, like, right off the bat. Alright, so just to build up that darker terracotta on the outside V, I'm going to go in with my Sigma E25. Again, pretty powdery. It does kick up a decent amount of powder, you can see right there. And it does look very pigmented on the brush. I'm stamping it on first just to like lay down where I want the color and then I'm going to go in and blend it out. As this is like a smoke palette, I am leaning more towards like smoky dramatic looks. I'm not sure, you could, you could definitely do like an everyday look with this palette, but I think with the shades that they give you, it's easy to get dramatic really quickly. And since my lids are hooded, I am bringing this up a little bit higher to kind of fake an outer V slash crease. I'm loving this color. It just looks beautiful. I am getting a little bit of fallout right here. I'll clean that up with a makeup wipe. I'm going to take my big fluffy brush, blend everything together. Alright, so for the lid shade, I am really wanting to try out this like kind of silvery right here. It just looks stunning and I think it would match these colors really well. So I'm going to first go in with a glitter primer just because I always do that. My, my lids are so hooded that if I don't go in with the glitter primer, even if the shadow lasts well on other people, it'll fade by the end of the day for me. So I always go in with the glitter primer first. So I wasn't getting the pigmentation that I wanted with the brush, so the best way to go in is definitely with the glitter primer and then just using your finger. And I'm just blending it in to the other colors. I 
I'm not really loving how that shade applied with the brush. I am liking the side of the finger application a lot better. I'm just going to try to blend them out, make them match a little bit more. All right, so that is the look so far. I'm loving these colors. I love how they work together. I'm going to go ahead and finish up the eye look with some liner, some lashes, finish up the rest of my face, and I will be right back. All right, guys, the rest of my makeup is on except for the lower lash line, and I have to say I really, really love how this eye look turned out. See, the liner and lashes really pulled it all together. So I popped back on this to complete the lower lash line. So for the bottom, I'm going to take a mixture of the two, the darker transition shade and the outer crease shade and just kind of run those along the bottom lash line. And that's the completed look. I'm really happy with how this turned out. All right, so overall, I know I only used a couple of colors on the palette this time, but I will go ahead and throw swatches in right here just so you can see how all of the shades look swatched out on my arm. So those were the swatches. I really love how all these colors work together, how they look together. I love the finishes. The only one I'm a bit disappointed by so far just from swatches and from a little bit of playing around is this like dark blue shade right here. It's very glittery fallout kind of. Um, not sure if I'll get a whole lot of use out of that one, but so far my favorites are this sh shimmery shade that I have all over the lid. Jesus! Did you hear that? That's the wind. As I was saying, I love the shimmery shade. The green, it's not as pigmented as some of the other ones, but you can really build it up and it looks nice. And the transition color, the warm transition colors, but of course I've got those in other sh other palettes because, you know, warm transitions are all the rage. But overall, do I think this is worth it? 100% yes. I love having all these smoky colors in one palette. It is very compact. It has a beautiful mirror. Let me go ahead and blind you guys just so I can show you how big. Everything's trying to interrupt me today. Could you just chill? So it does have a huge mirror. It's, I'll blind you for a second. It takes up the whole thing and it stands up on its own. So if you were traveling, you could just prop this up somewhere and do your makeup in the mirror. And I really appreciate that in a palette. Overall, I think I, I bought this on sale, I believe, or I had a coupon code or something. And even so, this is only like $16 as it is. 
So would I recommend this? Yes. I love BH Cosmetics. The only like palettes that I haven't liked so far have been like their older baked shadow formula. Like they had um so the Supernova palette. I'll throw a picture up, but it's the one where um everything looks like a planet or it's named after something in the you know in the sky and stuff. I really wasn't impressed with those shades. Um but then again, I do have like the Take Me Back to Brazil palette and that one, they're baked and they're beautiful. So I think some of their palettes are hit or miss, but this one from the Glam Reflection line is beautiful. There are two more palettes in the Glam Reflection line, but I'm personally not interested in them. I'll throw pictures up. One of them is a very neutral kind of um, like everyday palette. I have plenty of those in my collection. I don't really need another one. The other one just came out, I believe, for Valentine's Day, and it's more of like a rosy, kind of warm-toned palette. It reminds me a hell of a lot of the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette, along with a bunch of other warm-toned palettes that I have. So I don't feel a need to pick up those two. So I can't speak on those palettes, but I do enjoy the Smoke palette, and I will continue to use it in the future. So real quick, just to run down what is on the rest of my face for foundation, I have the Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation. I mixed it. It's a little too dark for me right now this is the shade warm nude i lightened it with the la girl pro coverage concealer concealer foundation in the white shade i did like three parts this to one part this and it worked perfectly for my skin tone right now for concealer i'm wearing the benefit boing like the erased paste thing um underneath foundation and concealer and for actual concealer i'm wearing the ulta beauty full coverage liquid concealer for powder, I set the under eye using the two lightest shades from the Shade and Light Contour Palette from Kat Von D. And then for contour, I used this middle, nope, nope, this shade right here. I used this shade right here. It's called Subconscious. Yes, Subconscious. And then for all over the face powder, I use, what did I use? Oh yeah. And then for all over the face powder, just to lighten it up a little bit more from the foundation, I used the e.l.f. Tone Correcting Powder in Cool. It does help, since I was trying to lighten a foundation a little bit more, I'm not sure I would use this on an everyday basis, except to set the under eye to brighten. And then for highlight, I went in... Ooh, pretty. I went in with the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter in Fire Crystal, which is like the more sparkly one over here. Okay, so that was everything for this little first impression review of the new, one of the new BH Cosmetics palettes. Oh, I forgot to mention it was on my lips. Jesus Christ. Um, so I picked up this uh, Marc Jacobs uh, like set from Sephora. It came with a lipstick, a lip liner, and a lip gloss. The lipstick is in Cream and Sugar. The lip gloss... Oh, it's so tiny. Is everything in Cream and Sugar? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that they're all Cream and Sugar. But I absolutely love this color combination. It's beautiful. It's like my perfect nude. And I like the fact that it came with the gloss because by itself, I haven't been liking, you know, plain lipsticks or liquid lipsticks since it's so dry in the winter. But I am loving the color. I'm loving everything about this lip combination right now. So I think we got everything out of the way. That's everything for this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you like it and let me know down below if you want to see more reviews like this or if you want me to do like a three looks one palette or another tutorial with this palette. A lot of the looks are going to be dramatic but I am excited to play with it a little bit more. So go ahead and let me know down below. I hope you'll subscribe before you head out so you won't miss any of my videos in the future and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye!